and we're going to talk about this Amazon thing in a crazy way because people are freaking out. Amazon made 11 billion dollars. They ain't paying no taxes. There's something wrong. And this is the second year in a row they've done it, right? People are like, oh, they should pay more taxes. The rich should pay more taxes. Let me tell you something. The rich people of the world are not going to pay any substantial taxes for probably the next 10, 15, 20, 30 years. If then, you it's a fool's errand. I made a video when Barack Obama was president titled, Mr. President, you can't tax the rich. This has been tried over and over and over again. It ain't going to happen. Uh, fun facts here. There are 62 people, 62, that own half of the world's wealth. You know what this enables them to do? Buy their own private armies. And I'm talking about bombs. I'm talking about their own gazapo, mercer. Yes, 62 people have the ability to fund that and maintain their own active armies. Now, I know that sounds all bad, but here's the thing. They got that kind of loot. What do you think that someone's going to be taxing these folks? That, that's not in it. So what we're going to talk about today is how you can do what they're doing on your level. On your level. <clears throat> You're not going to be able to do an Amazon.com type tax structure. Jeff Bezos was a Wall Street analyst before he began Amazon FBA, so he knew all of this stuff intimately. What you, you know, let's talk about this. So there's Amazon. I'm quite sure Amazon has probably no less than 30 to 50 uh, inks, holding companies, LLCs, companies they bought. They probably have a very complicated legal structure here in the US, here in the UK, uh, Bahamas. I wouldn't be surprised if they spent 10 if not 20 million a year on compliance making sure that all their i's are dotted and all their t's are crossed you can't play that game you don't have enough money if the money that they spent per year for compliance if you had that that would be enough to set off your generational dynasty for the next 20 30 generations so you can't play that game because you can know the rules you can know what to do, but you just don't have the wherewithal to do it. But guess what? By starting your own holding company structure, you can do something very similar on your level and not spend as much money because you're only not making as much money. I mean, you know, 10, 20 million to someone that made 11 billion. That's like a drop in the bucket. That's pennies on the dollar, literally. So. Well, before we get into that, let's let's talk about it. there's a lot of YouTube videos out here talking about you don't need a holding company, you don't even need an LLC, you don't even need an EIN. Okay, all right. I hear y'all, I hear y'all. And I'm gonna qualify it like this. And this is for my 0.5 percenters. If you feel that you don't need that stuff, you don't need it. You know why you don't need it? Because you're never gonna grow big enough. Be bad enough, be bold enough, or make enough money to make it all worthwhile. So in that regard, if that's what you feel, if it's all up in your feelings, if it's hitting you like that, go with that. Go with it. Don't get an LLC. Don't do a holding company. Don't don't even get an EIN. Just stay small potatoes and be raised, raised and culled by people who are doing it bigger and better than you or be ran out of business. So there you go. That's the qualification because I've said this before and I'll say it again. Unless you're trying or have a vision of doing something bigger than you are, it doesn't make any sense to put this stuff together. If you want to be low expectation Larry, you want to be woe is me Wanda, if you just want to be one of those people who's always looking over their shoulder like a scared little dog, fine. Don't do it. Don't even watch this channel. Don't even watch this video. All, all it's going to do is just make you mad because 
Many of you are looking to do very complicated things with your simple minds, and it's just not going to work out. And if I'm talking down to you, if you feel that that comment was talking down to you, you probably need to leave because I wasn't talking down to you because I'm trying to educate you. I'm trying to give you what you need to move to the next level. But a lot of y'all just want to, once again, the money frame. Y'all want to stay in this small money, <clears throat> money frame and expect big things popping. It ain't going to happen. It's just not. All right. So that was your uh, disclosure. Now we're going to get into what you need to do for your small business. And the government defines any business with less than 500 employees, a small business, which is most of them. This is what you need. And we're going to talk about this step by step. First of all, you're going to need the five checking account blueprint times two. You're going to need one for your personal life and you're going to need one for your corporate life. First thing. So we're going to assume that you have went through your basic financial education. You got to five free checking account. So you, you, well, if once again, let me be clear, the five checking account blueprint, which is free. You got that. Just go to money dot money income profit dot com. Look on the thing and watch the videos. There you go. And you've got your budget under control. And now you're at the point where you're making extra money, where you are now starting to see money in your life. All your bills are paid, your credit cards paid off, your cars paid off. You're in a very good position to start building that second stage of 10 to 20 times average person income, which will get you in the classification of rich. You're not wealthy, but you're rich because you can pay cash for a car. Uh, most of life's little woes don't even bother you. You know, if you, uh, your car breaks down, you get it fixed, you get another one. Uh, your furnace goes out, you stroke out a check because you got the money in your five checking accounts. So you, you're in a good position here. Now, after you vetted and validated your hustle, you wanna open up a holding company. And a holding company is an LLC that is designed just to receive money and to manage other things. It will never do business with the public. And this is what you want to establish first. Then after you establish that holding company, hold up, wait a minute. If you're in New York or you're in California, it's going to cost you a lot of money. If you're in the other 48, it ain't going to be that much. So you, you go ahead and you get that started. Then you go out and once you're approved by the state, you then form through that holding company, LLC, your first operating company. That's all you need right now. You're going to run your side business through that operating company. You're going to have your checking accounts. And with, with this system, you're going to have a few checking accounts for your holding company. And you're going to have a few checking accounts for your operating company. Once again, these containers, uh, someone, I can't remember his name. He said, thanks because, um, we were doing some stuff and they said that the five checking accounts improved their life and it meant and helped them manage things much better so it's very valid all right now you got your holding company and you got your operating company now why do you want to do all this well as a business owner or self-employed person you decide how much you get paid and they're like what what do you mean we'll get paid See, this is where many of you get into problems. Like, once again, I don't take a lot of money out of the company. Y'all be shocked at how little I take out the company. Because when you start taking money out the company, you have what's called a tax consequence. So if your company's balling out of control, let's say you have a company that makes $5 million a year and you're taking a million five salary. You're probably going to pay six, seven hundred k on that million dollars that you're taking out. You're going to pay a grip depending upon how you got it structured. Why would you do that? Using the ways of the tax code, what you can do is do many of those things you would do in your personal name and your business name. Now, at what point do you show income when you want to buy some or qualify for something? That's it. That's when you show income because you're not someone on Facebook actually put this in the comment and people just didn't want to hear it because someone had put up that credit is better than cash. And when I vigorously disagree, I did not participate in that conversation. 
but I did note that one person says I have a 780 credit score. I have no debt, but my income's too low to qualify for this house that I want. Long, long time ago, you know, if you had grandma, mother, big mama, whatever you call her, or your or pappy or poppy or whatever you call them, these older folks usually had outstanding credit. And literally, if they were to sit down on the table, they stroke, they, they sing each on some dot lines, they could borrow a million dollars. Those days are gone. Your ability to repay, it will be substantial in your ability to get loans. I know many people are like, oh no, you said, you know, an 850 credit score is better than $100,000 cash. I was like, you don't know what to do with $100,000 cash. $100,000 cash, you know how many ways? I mean, you could start literally, if you were just trying to parlay, you could start four or five little businesses, take 20000 put it over here, put it over here, put it over here, see which one runs. You, you would be able to get so much more if you knew how to handle that 100000 than you could with an 850 credit score and low income. Now, if you got an 850 credit score and high income, yeah, you can get a lot of this stuff. But most, what, what, wait, 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 wait. Um, 72% of the people in this country make less than $50,000 per year single person income. So there ain't a lot of high incomes out there. It just ain't. So one of the things that you need to do and you need to look at is what do you want out of life? What do you want to build? What do you want to have? What do you want to create? Where do you want to go in this thing called life? What do you want to build? What do you want to establish? Because there's a lot of people out here who are all up in arms saying it's unfair. It's not right. They should be paying more money in taxes because since they're getting away with murder, so to speak, then this forces everyone else to pay taxes. Does it? I guess if you don't know what to do, you would have to pay those taxes. But if you knew how to start your company and how to play the money game, you would. And I've had some people who've gone on and they've converted to where now they're making big money. And I tried to school them. But once again, when um, you are out here operating on a small money frame, I just don't even I, I gave up. Because uh, I'm like, hey, did you do this? And I was like, okay, this person is not really. Well, let me take a few steps back. Typically, people online who hit a big lick, who I have a friend last year, she made over a million dollars. Changed her and her family's life. But she wasn't set up before the money came in. And that's very, very important because many of these big corporations the tax structure is baked in to the company plan. They don't like create all of this money and all of this service and products with, oh, well, we'll figure out taxes later. No, taxes are figured out and accounted for before they even begin. Before they make their first product, before they hire their first person, it's like, okay, this is going to be our tax strategy. And this is the difference between seasoned operators and people who are just playing games. So let me see. Make sure, because this is very interesting. I'm uh, trying to check out something. Hold on a second. Apparently, a lot of people don't want this good game. Well, it is what it is. All right. So let's get back to you guys. Part of this new emerging class, we've got people with college degrees. We've got creative classes, we've got the business person class, and we have regular people. And typically the regular people outside of inheritance or maybe just some wild stroke of luck are just not going to get rich. But the creative class, they're getting rich in droves. These would include your programmers, your designers, your, your people who create these websites. Many of them don't have a baked in tax strategy because when I said that every single man needed a holding company structure before he became engaged with a woman or before he had kids, I wasn't kidding. And many people's like, I don't know how this works. 
And there, there are many people who women would come in like, this ain't going to help you. This going to get you into so many legal problems. It's just going to mess you up, right? Part of the problem is a lack of fundamental knowledge. Because let's say you're, you're 18. You don't have no money. You ain't trying to come up with anything. And you go out and you, you, hear, you come to this channel and he's like, whoa, let me try this. You go out and you form your holding company, you form your LLC. And for the next 10 years, you working on your business. Remember, you're 18. So now you at 28, and you ain't even balling out of control. You just have a nice business that, you know, your take home if you so desire. Remember about what I said about taking money out of your business. If you desire, would be about 250. But since you're a smart cookie, you take a, a nominal salary and you pull your rest out through dividends and distributions, therefore deferring and reducing your tax load. So you're 28 with access to 250K a year, no debt, solid business, you gonna get rich. Err. You gonna become a multi-millionaire, not a millionaire, but a multi-millionaire. Because if you do the, the research like I have, there's a lot of people who are millionaires. There's about 15, 16 million people around the world who are millionaires. But when you get to multiple millions, that number does not cut in half. That number's reduced by 75% because there's a lot of these paper millionaires with their biggest asset, they're living in it, their home, which is paid off, accounts for a huge chunk of their net worth. But when you get into the multiples of millions of dollars, more than likely, you got a business, you have an income producing engine that's making you some ducats, that's making you some money. That's what's going down. And that's what I want to do because this channel is nine years, seven months old, and it's made millions of people money. And it's made a large, a smaller group of people millions of dollars. In the last nine years and seven months, I have helped many people collectively make millions of dollars. Millions. And that's why I'm still here with my little YouTube channel. Because there's inherent value in these videos. And what I'm trying to tell you is what you're going to need to do is to be of service. Um, someone was telling me um, that now that everyone's talking about starting a service business. You know, it's funny because uh, I talked about that a long time ago. So let's get into this Amazon thing because this is this is very interesting. Amazon will pay zero in federal income taxes for the second year in a row. That's a beautiful thing. When I see that, I don't get mad at Amazon. I rub my hands together. It's like I understand. Because, see, there are many people who can play this game, but they don't want to because they're scared. Uh, something bad is going to happen. Let's talk about taxes. How many of y'all know who Willie Nelson is? Let me, let me go ahead and pull him up. Uh, I'm going to give you a story in... Let's see. Willie Nelson tax problems. Because they were on dude. Let's see. <laughs> no, uh, no thanks. Willie Nelson is tough to be mad at Willie Nelson. So when Willie got into tax troubles, his fans were there to bail him out. After the Internal Revenue Service hit the country crooner in 1999 with a bill for 16.7 million unpaid back taxes, Nielsen had to hand over many of his possessions to stay out of prison. Okay, let's, let me just go ahead and highlight this. All right. After the IRS hit crooner, country crooner in 1999 with a bill for 16.7 million in unpaid back taxes nelson had to hand over many of his possessions to stay out of prison let's see i'm getting to a point here uh willie nelson dodges jail time in texas Nelson, a musical legend known for his weed enthusiasm, was busted for marijuana possession after six ounces and was found, was found aboard his tour bus in Texas last November. Nelson had been pre previously been arrested for pot possession in 2006 and 1995. Okay, let's, let's go back. I'm, I'm, I'm making a point here. 
So Willie owed the government $16.7 million, but Willie went to jail for six ounces of weed. The point I'm trying to make, even if you make some mistakes, the Internal Revenue Service is going to work with you. They don't want to put you in jail. And unless you concoct some crazy scheme, which is clear avoidance, all they're going to do is put a penalty on you and whatever business interest you have. But they ain't going to stop you from making money. And if you, once again, know how to game, like, let me, let me go ahead and give y'all a little game here. I'm going to give you a little taste. I'm going to give you a little, little, little taste of game. Because this is from, uh, let's see. One of my uh, partners, one of my longtime partners, one of my partners owed the government $650,000. Now, my partner listened to me because he's my partner. And what he did, he started three businesses. And he had one business that owed $600,000. These other three businesses, they didn't owe any money. So he just ran them hard. He went in, had his audit, went in with his tax account. They worked out a deal. He started paying them from that other business and didn't even disturb the income stream from the other three. Didn't change his lifestyle. His wife, she didn't even know. He decided not to tell her. She didn't even know because the kids were still in private school, still kept the house, and she got a new jag. Because he had diversified his risk by not just having one business, not spending all his money recklessly and stupid. But once again, Willie Nelson owed the government $16.7 million and never did a day in jail and he got busted for weed. I'm trying to tell you a message here. Don't be so scared to make a mistake or to go out here and do what you need to do. It's going to be all right. <laughs> it's going to be all right. I hear these commercials which crack me up. Because you only hear him on talk radio. And it's like, yes, uh, Roger owed $10,000 in back taxes. Roger couldn't sleep. Roger was on edge. $10,000. All right. Um, the government will give you up to like a five-year payment plan, I believe. So I have my phone here. So we can get the accurate numbers in here. Um, let's see. Let's go to the calculator. So we're going to go $10,000 plus, let's say, $2,000 for penalties and stuff. Divided by five years is 60 months. I think it's less than that. So $720 a month. No, no, no. That's wrong. Hold on. My math's wrong. That's why I got the calculator so I can give it to you all right. All right. 12,000, aha, divided by 66, it's $181 per month. All right, so let's go to 100K. Uh, divided by, I think it's 48, I'm not sure. Equals 2,000, and that's 2,000 a month if you owe 100K. Once again, the, the situation in each case is to make more money. It's to make way more money. Now, I'm going I'm to explain this hat to you because I have three hats. I have money, which is a red hat. I have income, which is a blue hat. Blue is good. And I have profit, which is a black hat. Black is the best situation. You want to be black. You want to be black with your money. You want to be so black with your money that people are thinking, do you speak Nigerian or do you speak from the Congo? You want to be that black with your money. And income is blue because income is power. See, money is red because money, it can come and go so fast. Just money sitting around doing nothing, money being spent. But the income, which you can increase because you are a smart cookie, that, that's blue. And we'll get into some more of this stuff. Because one of the things that people need to understand is we're living... And I hate to say this, but I'm going to say it because you came here for the truth and I'm going to tell it to you. During the next two to potentially six years, and I'll tell you where I'm on this Trump thing. This is your time to get rich. 
all of the safeguards and protocols have been relaxed, the deregulation, essentially the government has gone to the hen houses, not the hen house, but all of the hen houses and like took a hammer and knocked the locks, locks off every hen house. Hen house is, is done. There, everything's gone from the hen houses. There, there are no locks. There are no, no garden. There's no German shepherds. They ain't nothing. Because let's talk about this impending financial crisis. Uh, the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, I think it's something. Someone will correct me if I'm wrong. It was created during Obama's term. And this is to help people who have these bad problems with banks and credit cards and loans, right? You know, right now, it's underfunded. Let me say this again, and I'm going to give you a comparison. Let's say you have a business that's very profitable, but it needs uh, 100K a year to run. But you only got 20K, so you really can't optimize your business. Well, the consumer financial protection business offers works a similar way. They have a mandate to do certain things, but they just don't have enough money to help everyone, which means that they will not be as effective as they could be. Once again, next two to four years, even, uh, even well, no, let's say 10, whether Trump stays in office or not is immaterial at this point. It's going to take generations to fix and undo a lot of the stuff he's done in these last two years. Because you know, this this border wall, this is just a smokescreen. Uh, Sun Tzu, the art of war, banishing of swords. This this is just a distraction. This is a distraction. It, it means nothing. It's like, yeah, he's he has his basis. He's he's dug in. He's going to get us that wall. And people are like, I, I hate Donald Trump. And I was over here looking at all the stuff that's going on with China, Korea, Brexit, and the things that they're doing. I'm like, oh, this is interesting. So whether he's in office or not, if you are a hustler, you are an opportunist, you a business person, you want to make some money, you want to start some, this is the time to do it. <laughs> it never in history has it been like this. Ever in history. It's kind of crazy. I mean, it really is. It, it's insane. So what we're going to do, and you know, I'll talk about this new studio. Um, I'm upstairs because... In the basement, I can't control the light. And you notice how it was all whited out or overexposed because it was just weird. Because I would have the lights on me and they would be good, but light coming in from the window, which is strange because I have uh, another, I'm in front of another window. But this one, this room stays pretty brilliantly lit most of the day. Even on overcast days, it's still kind of, you know, cool. So the live, this is the new live streaming studio. You know, if y'all saw the video I put up early this morning about the back scene. So downstairs, there's two studios. So this is my third studio and there's going to be a, probably a fourth because I got three bedrooms upstairs that ain't, no, they ain't nobody. There's a guest room. So we could say two more studio potentials. That's one of the reasons I got this turkey. I mean, this house is 5,000 square feet and there's two of us in here and a dog. All the neighbors are like, you don't have no children? Yeah, in that big house? I'm like, your house bigger than mine. What are you talking about? It's just you and Mitchell. Oh, yeah, well, there were kids in here, and we're selling this sucker. <laughs> so this is what's going on. Oh, let's see what's going on in here. What's up, MMA Fan 3? Oh, man, we, we tell the truth around here. What's up, BrolyCon? What's up, Tyron Braun? Thank you, Savannah Riggins, I believe. I love this channel. Jigga Chinks. Hey, I'm only 16, but I'm trying to look. Dude, this is the right time for you to start a business. I don't know what your environment's like. I don't know what your home life is. But if you can start hustling now, when I say hustle, not selling drugs, <laughs> let's just be real clear about this. Starting a business that helps people legally you could literally have your life on fire by the time you're 26. What's up, I'm sorry, Tiger Shark Studios. What's up, Leslie? Barfield, does federal taxes mean absolutely no taxes? Do you still pay other taxes? Uh, no federal tax, but they're still going to pay probably state tax reduced. They're going to pay tariffs. See, the one thing you got to understand about Amazon. Amazon is an international brand. 
Amazon has all of these uh, fulfillment centers in multiple states, multiple headquarters, it has locations in different countries in the UK. I don't know how far they've expanded. I believe people in Australia are doing some stuff on Amazon FBA. So it's a multi national it's a, a multi-country international company i mean their tax structure and is so complicated because they're operating for number one in all 50 states in the united states then they got to go over here to europe and then they got to deal with this vat tax so they're paying some taxes but they're not paying any federal taxes and that's usually the biggest one i mean imagine if you just had to pay state tax and medicare and ficca but no federal tax what's your life look like player what would your life look like? What would your life look like? You'd be like, whoa, look at all this new money. Uh, my girl paid $27,000 in taxes last year. And she was hopping mad. I mean, literally, just like, who are all these people? <laughs> it was funny. Uh, mad Animal Fitness, what about if you're 31? Once again, I'm going to tell you the truth. 31, I started on this journey when I was 32. I was homeless when I started on this journey. The older you are, it's going to get interesting. And I'm not going to say you have less time because people are living to be 90. What I am going to say is the older you are, usually the more stuff that you have in your life, the more things you have going on, which make it difficult. This is why I tell every man, start your holding company. Go ahead and get your um, operating LLC, get your business up before you meet this woman, before you have kids. Do this before. And there's some strange things that's going on because uh, someone had posted some on the Facebook page um, about this chick who was getting married to this new dude and wanted him to adopt the children and for the biological father to sign over his rights. And that's the thing. A lot of chicks will do that, right? But eventually the kids grow up and they still go look for who their daddy is. It's very interesting dynamic how some women, because there's some women who would never even think of it. They would never, ever do it. And there's another group. It's all about power and control. That's all. That's what it is. All right. So I'm trying to start a C Corp. Any advice? Why are you trying to start a C Corp? Do you, I mean, seriously, that that's a whole different ball game. Are you getting into like shipping, trucking? You going to get, in, I mean, what are you trying to do? What's up, Anton? What's up, Wolf Flow? Uh, Maxim, I, I have no idea what you're talking about. What's up, Gates 3? George Evans, G had the same corporate welfare and still broke. G didn't have a tax problem. G had a business model problem. And still, to this day, G has made more millionaires than any other company in the world. GE's problem is they did not innovate because, believe it or not, IBM cloud computing is kicking Amazon AWS in the butt. And a lot of people don't even know that. Um, because everyone thinks IBM just disappeared. No, no, no. Uh, matter of fact, let me let me show you something. Let's get in here. IBM market share. All right. So let's go here. Yeah. A lot of people don't even know this. <laughs> IBM is doing very well. A lot of folks don't even know this. This is why. Oh, look at this. Uh, let's see what they've done. Let's go five years out. So they've trended down. 2006 was kind of rough. Let's go max. Let's see what it will do. There we go. <laughs> so IBM is doing well. Uh, IBM is a buy and hold. This is not where you get your financial advice about stocks. If I was doing stocks, that would probably be one that I would buy because of what I know that they're doing. So there's a lot of information about Amazon. And this is one of the things. If you want to be an investor, 
you need to actually start reading about these companies and not listening to people because there's so many stocks out there that you can buy that no one talks about online because they ain't sexy. How many t how many people have you heard on YouTube talk about IBM? A lot of people think IBM is dead. It ain't even it ain't even like I said it ain't it ain't dead. It's not dead. Not dead at all. Come back. All right. So just you know. A little game for y'all. All right, let's see. Tyrone, I'm 35. It's looking great. Excellent attitude. All right, Anthony Montgomery, work on that 10 year plan. All right, I'm sorry. Okay, you already. I, I got a question, Savon. You have multiple businesses that are weaving. Why don't you have a corporate structure plan? This, this is what you do. You know, sounds like um, you might need some help. I want you to go out and find yourself a corporate attorney, a corporate attorney, business attorney. Look around and I want you to find yourself a corporate CPA. You need someone who's used to working with people who have multiple businesses because most folks don't they just got one and they come in and they put their stuff in the shoebox or, you know, um, QuickBooks or something like that. You got a whole different situation going on here because I'm trying to figure out you got four. You got multiple businesses and you you're not you don't have a holding company and you don't have operating LLCs. I don't know what's up. But you need to get that handled and you need to get that handled very quickly because you are a target. <laughs> you people find out what much money you got and what you're doing. They will come after you. What's up, Erica? Folks hear Internet tricks and think the structure of their corporation will make them win. No sales. Yeah. Like I said in the beginning, if you're not trying to do anything, yeah, don't 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 even listen to this. Go somewhere, go watch some some cat video. I don't know what happened, but I've been watching cat fighting videos. They're very entertaining. I don't know what it is. I don't even know how I stumbled on it. I went to the dark side of YouTube, and I'm watching every day cats just get it on like they like my kung fu is better than your kung fu, and it's usually. The black cat or the orange cat that wins. I don't know what is up with that. Is it the orange stripes or the some kind of breed? And a funny little story. I, I have a little dog, right? And I'm in I, I'm in the city, but I'm not in the city, right? Because we have deer and all this other stuff around here. And there's this hawk that lives in the backyard. And I've seen him before. I just didn't understand how big he was until he came after the dog, right? Because, you know, we're out there doing the business and stuff. Then out of nowhere, here's this big hawk, wings spread. The hawk was probably a foot away from me because the hawk was going for the dog. And it's like, oh, human. And then it took off and, it, you know, it, ab it aborted its dive and went this way. I was like, w w where am I? I? I thought I was in the city. It's like wow kingdom back there. <laughs> it is wow. So I got hawk and deer in my yard. And God knows what else. Barfield, so you think that truck drivers should have some point start an S Corp or a C Corp? Once again, what are your plans? See, this this is the thing. Like someone comes to me. I'll ask them a bunch of questions that they're like, what does this have to do with starting a C Corp or an LLC? It, it has a lot because depending on where you are, depending on what state, depend, I mean, it, there is no typical properly structured C Corp, S Corp, LLC or holding company because you are doing something different. Like me, um, I run a media company. My stuff is totally different than when I had the storage auction. You know why? Storage auction business, I had trucks, I had employees, I had warehouses. I had a lot of risk, a lot of risk. That's why we didn't buy the trucks. We leased the trucks so they would carry all that other stuff. I mean, and we bought their, we bought their insurance with people like, God, that's expensive. Why don't you get the cheapest? It's like, I got a, my partner over here who's an accountant and we, we look at this on the real stuff and sometimes the cheap insurance is not the best insurance. So we went with their insurance, got the umbrella policy and we never had an accident. But if we did, we've been covered because you got some folks out here running, 
renegade they don't have the right insurance they got the minimum or they got some bootleg insurance company and they get in the accident and they're gonna lose it all i'm telling you this i know people what's up the horner apparel group what's up gene IBM is going strong and all. People don't know, Eric. They don't know. People think IBM has disappeared. They just restructured like GE failed to do. They sold their computing uh, company to Leveno, I believe. And they just got out that business and started focusing on what they did best. Uh, I don't hear a lot about Dell. I haven't checked it out. A lot of people see this is one of the things. Okay, here here's what YouTube does, and th this this is why I, you you see I'm making a lot of changes. I don't really care about the YouTube algorithm. The YouTube algorithm works like this: if you make a video that does really really well, the YouTube algorithm will reward you. If you make another video that is very similar to that, that's what I like to call the chocolate chip cookie method. You know, you'll have a bag of chocolate chips. Some of them be a little bigger. Some of them be a little smaller. But they're all essentially chocolate chips. YouTube rewards that behavior like you wouldn't believe. That doesn't work for me. Uh, my videos that get that kind of traction and stuff, they're really not pushing my message. And I was like, okay, you know, we need to make a decision. What are we going to do here? And I, I am not even trying to play the algorithm game. I'm trying to play the Glendon Cameron Hustlers Kung Fu game, which works very well. So it's just interesting that when you take stuff from YouTube, you have to understand, like this girl I saw at Phipps Plaza posing for the gram. You got to ask yourself, are they doing it for your future, for, for you to get better? Or are they doing it for the algorithm? And then sometimes they could do both. They can do it for you to get better and it pleases the algorithm. It's just my stuff doesn't. Nope, nope. The last video that I had that took off really quick was uh, the rich people of Atlanta. And I wasn't really selling anything in there. I was just talking smackety smack smack. What's up, James W? I know a lot of people, because once again, I talked about this in the video, but you know, y'all may not, y'all may see it, may not. Are you an investor or you're a trader? You can't be both. Or you could have one side that you invest and hold and the other stuff you trade. So you technically could be both. But many people confuse trading with investing. Like all these folks who are trying to short or long crypto. and all. They're traders. They're not investors. I bought my Bitcoin. I held on to it for eight years. I didn't even look at it. And I was like, woo, look at this. Sell, sell, sell. I was like, I don't think this is ever going to pop this high again. If I'm wrong, so what? I only spent 80 cent a coin. $18,000 plus a coin. You, I mean, that was like one of those storage auction licks. Workflow Thor Industries. You mean the ones that make those electrical trucks? What's up, James W? Star Fox, do you know anything about online e-commerce? I know a lot about it. I just don't do it. I am in the media education business. But I can tell you, you got two choices with online e-commerce. You can be trendy or you can build a brand. Sometimes you can do both. You have one company that does trendy stuff and another company that does brand. Now, why would you want to build a brand? You build a brand, you can sell similar products year after year. If you're doing trendy, Trends go up, trends come down. Kevin Dickerson, looking to do big things in 2019. They have four or five business ventures. Do I need to set up multiple LLCs or just one blanket holding company? Holding company first, operating company second. You will not do business out of your a holding company so for your first venture you would need a holding company llc and an operating company llc so you need two and for each different venture i would suggest putting in a different operating company and matter of fact if your industries are so different the internal revenue service doesn't even allow you to file the same tax form if you got like these this is why you know um his fa his tax forms are very complicated trump i mean he ain't lying about that they are He's not filing one tax form. He's filing different tax forms. 
And this is something a lot of people don't know. Like if, you know, like with me in the media company, then I'm going to go over here and start this real estate company. I will not be filing the same tax structure for both. I'll be filing two tax, two tax forms. You don't hear people talk about that stuff and they talk about multiple business and investing, but they don't even talk about the basic stuff. Oh, never mind. Uh, let's see. Woodflow, you getting all that technical stuff. Here's some you should look at. Like a lot of folks didn't even know IBM was still doing stuff. You should look at what is necessary. Cloud computing is necessary. When AWS went down, Netflix, a lot, a lot of stuff went down with Net AWS because it's necessary. So if you find a company that makes something that is necessary, that is doing well, buy that. That's a little tip from you. You know, people get into the shorting and the other stuff. I tend to look at the human market and what people are buying, what people need. Like this, well, here's another little fun fact. Uh, we, we're having this debate about cold calling. Now, if you don't know, that was my full-time job. I used to make about 100, 150 cold, cold calls per day, and I became very good at it. But in comparison, online inbound leads, to me, cold calling is dead. I, I would never, ever cold call again based upon my business model. If I had a business model where I needed the cold call, okay, I would put my dialing for dollars hat back on. But there's no way. Uh, and Craigslist protocols, that was those were inbound leads. I never answered anyone's ad on Craigslist. I never when online dating. I never answered anyone else's profile. I let them come to me because once again, I'm an educated person about these things, and I know that these women literally get for every one response you as a male get. They get 50 to 200. They get worn out. So knowing that, why are you going to be responding when more than likely you thinking that she just egging you? She never even saw your message because her inbox, inbox is full of penises just waving like, oh, pick me, pick me, pick me. Why play that game when you know you can't win? I told my friend I bought a hundred thousand dollar man. You don't have a thousand dollar pair of shoes. If it makes you happy, it makes you happy. Oh, you're in the media. Cool. Are all your companies in the media? MGen teaching my kids about business and creating their own economy, so they wouldn't have to rely on company fee clothes. Well, to your point. We're heading toward where most people are going to be freelancers or 1099. So teach them right. Man Animal Fitnesses. Uh, which one of your courses should they begin to start in the fitness boot camp? Watch 30 days to 2,500. <laughs> All right, Quentin. Uh... Woodflow Guru Focus helps a lot to value your stock if you know what ratios look at. And here's my thing with stock market. My primary investment is in my company because I can get consistently, consistent 50, 80 percent returns. I can't do that with very, there's a few stocks and they're risky, risky, risky. But that's where my investment is. And I run a debt free business so I can play that game. I'm not taking on debt. Um, matter of fact, I had to fix my car. It's five thousand for that. Valentine's Day, I think that was two thousand, and something else, something else. I spent like eighteen grand this month. It came out of cash flow. It didn't even come out of my check accounts. So for me, I don't invest in the stock market because I don't need to. For me, 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 me. I'm gonna start buying real estate, and I'm gonna park my cash there as we melt this thing down because it seems like they're trying to prop it back up because it's very interesting for the longest period houses were sitting and then like two round here sold within three weeks like listing to bam soul sign so that's very interesting i don't know if this is behavior influenced because of possible jack up interest rates because 
interest rates on a eight hundred thousand to a two million dollar house. Those little points. That's some big money, man. That's some big money. We're talking about like a difference between you know a hundred extra a month or twelve hundred or thirteen hundred. So if you're doing that like that. Yeah, you got to have a brand, man. You got to. You, cause you can, there's some people who do very well with trends, but you're always resetting. Uh, Star Fox, I'm building a clothing line and drop ship hustle. I got a question. I'm not trying to be a pervert. Why should someone buy your clothing? And uh, Don't answer it, but think about that question. Because if you go, uh, you got a problem. Why should someone buy your clothing? And when you can ask that question like that, you'll be on to something. Keenan Savage. I'm an LT in the Army. I hear you repeating. Uh, repeating mentioned starting a whole company as a single male. Do you think a link to one of your products to walk through this? Now, if you're not, for the product I have for that, it, it's pretty expensive. It's $3,000 or it's a monthly fee of $199 because we're going to start some classes to enhance that process starting March. So for you, I would say, were you even in the US? How long are you gonna stay in the military? Because I know you can say your home of records wherever you want. You can choose Texas or Florida if you want. But if you don't have a business, because I may have to put together something special for that because what I'm putting together is really for people who are actively starting businesses right now. What's up, Kevin Dixon? Yeah, the cloud is um, everything. Well, I mean, cold calling can work in certain industries, but I used to do it, and I was really good at it, and I, I had a certain level of pride about doing it, but why would you cold call and get a handful of leads when you can automate and get hundreds of leads per day? That, that just doesn't make sense for me. Eric Williams facts just investing for the long term is not popular on YouTube. No, everybody trying to get their Lambo. Big booty Betty. Oh, there was this happened to a YouTuber. I didn't wish it on him, but I had a feeling. Uh he's in the cars in the, the car part of YouTube, and his wife was quite a tasty dish. And he would have her on the thumbnails and the bikini and all this stuff. And I'm like, dude, don't do that. And apparently she cheated on him and now they've broken up and he's gone on this wild thing. He's grown a weird mustache. And I'm just like, like me, I mean, I, I'm not going to say never because then there'll be something that'll happen. But typically with anyone I'm involved with, I keep them out of this YouTube stuff. I signed up for this and everyone else signed up for it. And I'm, I'm like, I have people who come for me. But if you do YouTube... <laughs> Keep your girl or keep your boy off the gram, off the tube. I'm telling you, because when you break up, there are going to be people like, ha, 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 yeah, let me watch this tea. Let me drink this tea. Let's watch this dirt. Drop it. Drop it. Matt Gresham, so you recommend only doing inbound marketing for a service business, for example, like marketing. Once again, this depends on what you do and who you are and what your skill level is. Because, see, there is no blank in the answer to anything. Star Fox chase money, not women. Oh, you on that music side. Yeah, music's very interesting. Uh, no, I will not too cool for school. I won't be making that one. This channel is going a totally different direction. AKWB's the income hat. Really? Here's one of the things. Because I, I had someone like, man, you don't wear your Alabama gear. This is Alabama law. So it's like, you haven't been watching. I stopped wearing that gear probably two months before the game. I realized that I needed to promote, promote me in my brand versus them and their brand. I'm always fan. It hurt the, it hurt like hell that they lost, but I'm still going to rep Alabama, but online I'm going to be repping me. 
And that's what you need to do. If you have a company, you need to rep your company. You don't need to rep anyone else. Uh, if you notice that all the gear, there's, um, I'm getting rid of all the gear that has other logos on it. And I just got the hat. Here's some, the hats. You know why? Because I'm doing the green screen. And because I, I'm, I'm bald and my head shines, it's catching a little green um, a leak. So this is why I got the hats. And I was like, I got to get a hat, but I'm not going to wear the Alabama hat because I got to get away from that. So I just went over to the mall and <laughs> they just printed these up. So <laughs> uh, another one I got income, money and profit. But yeah, this is what's going to be. That's funny, hot huh? kicker beats. Uh, Savon, do I need to set an LLC of corp for all the businesses? And no, 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 no. You, you, you ain't listening to me. I once again, I don't know who you are. I don't know what your stuff is. If I were you, I would set up a holding company and I would set up little LLCs, operating LLCs for each business. That's what I would do. But I don't know your situation. Once again, I urge you to go out and hire an attorney. And ask them how much for an hour of their time and pay them in cash for just one, two, and ask them a bunch of questions. And they'll ask you a bunch of questions. All right, Star Fox. Oh, you in the UK. You were on there with the little bitty girls. I'm serious. When I was in London, man, oh, those chicks are like way small. Yeah, man, just stay away from that jigger. <laughs> Erica Williams is jumping up and down. Yes, inbound marketing. I do not chase folks. I post ads on Indeed and sponsor them for three days and leave it alone. Superstar Customs, he would have been better off hiring models than using his wife. See, when you start a YouTube channel, you don't have money for all that. You want to know what, just like... A regular model, nobody with no name. Just a, that's gonna be minimum sixty bucks an hour. Plus, you gotta do makeup. Plus, you, you no, no, no. You gotta provide clothes. No, 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 no. If you wanted to go out and just hire some regular girls from around the way, two or three, get a photographer. You're looking at five, six hundred bucks minimum. Minimum. I know why I used his wife. I know exactly why. It's just like, ooh, I hope this don't work. I hope this don't go against you. And it did. Because the thing is, she was, I mean, she's tasty, okay? She's tasty. And she was getting a lot of comments. And they were like, you know, the old creepy man crew. Like, oh, here she is again in her little red bikini. I'm like, these dudes are chest of the molester, right? And he put her out there and she, that's another channel. All these guys sliding in the DM. They sliding in the DM. They were in the comments. What's up, Ebony Empire? Um, Sama, would building a small digital marketing agency now be proper? Once again, I don't know. I don't know you. Because, see, do not do something because... It is popular right now. Don't start your business off a trend. Don't start off if it's a trendy thing, but you really have inside knowledge. You like to do it. Cool. Start. But just don't like, hey, that looks like it's going to make a lot of money. Let me do that. Don't do that. I got one friend who has this crazy biz business model. He makes millions a year. I got another friend. And th this is something that you just would not hear about sitting at a coffee table over here, over some people talking. You just wouldn't hear about this stuff. The I guess the riches are in the niches. So, yes. Uh, I sell that information, so I go very much in depth in that. All right. Do 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 do. <laughs> this is weird, man. Okay, hold on a second. Here we go. That's what I want to do. All right.
pretty much. Yeah, I heard that somewhere. The riches are in the niches. Because if you specialize, you're going to speak to a specific audience. And like one of my friends, I'll tell a little bit about his business because you, you can't you can't copy it because it's going to take you a lot of money. But essentially, if you get in an accident and they are turning, you get yourself an attorney and the attorney goes like, yeah, they're more likely they're going to win. But they're going to win in five, six, seven years. What they will do is pay all your medical bills right now. But they get all of the settlement. They'll pay all your medical bills. They've negotiated deals with the hospitals. And anyone that knows, like I had a situation and I just said, look, if, what if I pay cash? And it's like, ooh, half off. So they're playing the, the arbitrage games where, you know, say someone's bills come up to a million, but then they win like 10 million on the lawsuit. You know, more money, more money, more money. It's very unique business model. And this is what I'm talking about. You all this stuff here on YouTube. Once again, they're doing it for the algorithm. I have seen someone change up his uh, content for the algorithm and it's not a, not a bad thing. He's not a bad guy, but I know how that's going to end. Like once again, you can say my channel small and blah, 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 all this. I've been on YouTube for nine, going on 10 years. I've seen a lot and I've seen a lot of people come and go. I've seen people with two, three, four, five, six, seven million dollars, million subscribers disappear just like that. So it's very interesting. Very interesting. All right. So what we're going to do starting in March is we're going to start having some classes. And this will be for people who are in the art of holding. Because I realized for, since I introduced the product that people need additional help. So these classes will be going on. So if you've already bought the art of holding, you don't have to buy it. You will get uh, set up when I start you in these classes. So I don't, I don't need to hear from you. You 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 in. You've been jumped in the gang, you know, you in the fam, you got your, you got your little two tear drop tattoos, you, you good. Now, for people who are interested, what you're going to get, we're going to talk about more of why you're doing the art of holding this. Like, like I said, I'm going to just be bluntly honest with you. If you just go out and spend some money and get your holding company and your operating company, get your five banking accounts and you, know, and you don't do nothing else. You wasted your money. They ain't going to really do nothing for you. But when you get your life in order, you get your five checking accounts, you get, you, and you got to get your personal life in order. You, you got to. Do not skip over that step and like, well, I'm going to make so much money, I'll be able to conquer this. No, you won't because your money habits, and this is something that's going to go into investing yourself tomorrow. It took me a while to put it together. It's about the money frame. There's eight principles in your money frame dealing with certain characteristics of your life and let's say take an athlete so the athletes will improve their income right but the rest of the fr money frame is the same so this is why they and the frame will collapse back to its original size you must expand all of the corners of the money frame simultaneously to keep from going back and a lot of people really don't understand that but we'll get into it Just smell so good. That's a nice name. Uh, Gardner Brown, sometimes I do not get notified when you come live. Have you thought of a tech subscriber line? Actually, I was one of the first people on YouTube to do it. But see, there's this strange language with if your channel is dealing with credit if or financial advice or porn, you can't use those services. So that's what we're talking about. So I don't know. I don't really see any way around it. Uh, I have a different email list that I'm going to start putting out and just like this would be the notification list and this would be another list for other stuff. But I can go ahead and use a company and then they find me out and they kill the list. And then there's this big blowback because people are like, hey, what happened to the list? I don't feel like going through that again. How many people want this hat? Just put it in the comments. If I get enough people who want this hat, I'll make it and make it part of the merch. <laughs> if you want this hat. M. Jim, thanks for the 15 bucks. Appreciate you. Well, J98, if you know, if you uh, like that, is starting a social media marketing agency focused on one kind of niche. 
a good business model for a beginner. Understand that I shouldn't just do it because it's trendy, but it seems exciting. If you want to start a social media for a specific category, that's a great idea because you ain't all over the place. Yeah, you know, if like maybe social media for fitness people or social media for YouTubers, social media for insurance companies. Yeah, I think that's an excellent idea. I got over, Augustine, I have I got over 50 bank accounts. Literally, you think that's excessive? I feel like more accounts. I have more money. I make. Um, Let me think. I really can't say that's excessive because I believe I have 45 to 48. So I, 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 I'd be calling the, that'd be like the pot calling the kettle black. <laughs> Everybody wants this hat. Oh, that's a new thing. All right. So for those of you who want to be part of the art of holding, that's the only thing that's in the comment section. It explains a little bit. And if you get on the payment plan, you know, allow us 24 hours to add you to the courses, you would get full access to the courses and then you'll be in for the classes. And, um, you know what I'm going to do? <laughs> Since y'all talking about this hat, I don't have any paper up here because this is so different from my regular setup. Uh, I'm going for everyone that gets a product over a certain amount. I got to figure out what that is. But everyone that buys the art of holding, you'll get an income hat. I'll do that. That much I know I can do. And everyone who bought the art of holding, I will go ahead and drop you an income hat. How's that? So that's what we'll do. <laughs> Y'all are cracking me up. So uh, I'll have to do some research on the hat, but we'll, we will see. But for the folks who get the art of holding, um, yeah, I will do the hat. Or who you bought it, or you, you will get the hat. There we go. Uh, this hat's blue. Uh, the other hat's uh, black. All right. I will catch you guys later. Everything is below the video. And wow, that's three hours went by very quickly. So with that, I'll see you guys in the next stream or video. And there will be one tomorrow because it's already done. Thank God.